It is a ritual that is so highly upheld in most of the African communities. A ceremony that every member of the community has to be a part of. For them, it's a chance to feast and have merry in celebration of one of their own who is to graduate to yet another stage of life, what they call the genesis to maturity. But this is not the case in all African communities. To some, circumcision is not part of a culture. Being the month of August, most dwellers of Nambale in Busia district become uneasy for it is known to be the month where some men who have never undergone the cut get forced to get it. Here's what happened last year. Ata hui mama mbae meshiku hapa, aliniambia makau lazima utakutairi, wawesi kapa wawaluni na ujatairi. Sasa hata juusi tukua na eso koni, aliniambia lazima utakutairi na asubuya alitokea akiwa na kisu mama mwenyewe. But some don't understand the need for circumcision. Sometimes uh, in the field there, you'll find somebody saying that now, how long am I going to take before I heal? How long am I going to stay without having sex? How painful is it? It is for this reason, therefore, that the Kenya Voluntary Medical Male Circumcision Program is scaling up efforts to reach older men to get circumcised in a bid to reduce the HIV prevalence. However, getting the cut doesn't guarantee 100% protection from contracting the HIV virus. VMMC reduces somebody's chance to get HIV infection by 6 over 10 or 60 percent. Medics say that male circumcision has numerous benefits to the woman too, in that it reduces the risk of the woman contracting sexually transmitted infections and cervical cancer amongst others. So their advice to all men is it's never too late to go for the cut. Mala Kivila, KTN Saturday Night.